Hello, welcome back to the channel Great News Lovers. Today we are going to be listening to a clip by Bishop David Oyedepo on the importance of knowledge, on how knowledge can empower us to be successful in life. Listen and be blessed. Do not forget to like and share this video. Also drop your comments and subscribe. Opportunities abound everywhere, but mankind is so blind they can't see it. And when you see challenges, they are only wrappings of opportunities. All the challenges you see around you, inside them are hidden eternal opportunities just for someone to be able to see it. You never have a champion that is not challenged. It is overcoming the challenge that brings out the champion in you. There are problems in Nigeria, but there are no nations without problems. There are no nations without challenges. The issue is that some are committed to solving their problems while others are celebrating their problems. There are really no poor nations, but there are poor people in every nation. It is when the number of the poor outnumber the rich that we call it a poor nation. But when the rich in a nation outnumber the poor, then we said we have a rich nation. There are rich people in very poor nations who will still be classified very rich in the richest nations of the world. So you are not poor because you are in a poor nation. You are poor because you have not been empowered to live above it. So when you are truly empowered, you deliver results at the same rate anywhere you are in. Power delivers same quality of results anywhere. We were in Kaduna years ago, and people were coming in from Kano to service in Kaduna on a weekly basis. So the church is not far where values have been delivered. Let me start by saying that every child of God is a man and a woman to be envied, not to be pitied. Every child of God. Isaac came on the stage and the Bible said the Philistines envied him. And the word says, we brethren as Isaac, we are children of promise. So you are not to be pitied, you are to be envied. All we need to do is to locate what it takes to outshine our peers in our field. In your field, what it takes. And I'd like to start by saying this, we have found out both from scriptures and from the principles of life that the fundamental secret of empowerment is knowledge. So the news you assess is what defines the changes in your life. That's why only thoroughly informed people become practically transformed knowledge is the secret of sustainable empowerment for unlimited achievement therefore investment in knowledge is the gateway to sustainable empowerment it takes the knowledge of the truth to remain increasingly empowered in your journey so as to fulfill your destiny in a grand style. Let's come down to natural context, information. Now, 2900 BC to 300 BC, Africa was leading in education. History confirms that Greek historians, architects, mathematicians, sociologists, archaeologists came into Egypt to receive their education. And that time, Africa was the center of civilization. Because wherever education goes, their civilization goes. Now, the Greek took over from there, and now you have the Plato's, the Aristotle's, the Socrates. And then the Romans hijacked it. And then the British hijacked it. And 
wherever education went, their civilization went. And then the Americans took it over. Nothing empowers like knowledge. And that's why we have an army of powerless people in Africa. Let me show you this. Schooling only gets you literate. It is investment in literature that creates your actual future. What you were taught in school was as it obtained then. But what you need now is as it obtains in the now. So you need updated insight to remain current in your field. Here we celebrate certificates, but in developed countries they celebrate discoveries. I brought zero money into ministry. My only asset, which was more, which was more tangible to me than physical cash or rich bank account, was insight. Insight empowered me with confidence for conquest. I studied 39 selected classical biographies of great ministries. When I came out of that exhaustive study, like I said always, I was 39 years older than my peers in ministry. I had the ma majority of a 70 year old when stepping out into ministry. I had been educated and thoroughly informed by the lives and discoveries of the giants that I was privileged to study. That's why we say all the time, I'm never surprised that we are where we are in ministry. I would have been surprised if we are not there. Nothing empowers like knowledge. It is investment in knowledge that empowers you for unusual accomplishment. Today, Covenant University is causing waves everywhere. I took time out and studied nine selected world-class universities to study their findings, their background, their developmental processes, and what was driving them that still made them relevant after 350 years, after 278 years, after 1,000 years like Oxford and Cambridge, I needed to find out what it was, and after I found out, I said, Governor University is the new generation Harvard. Now, it's that was empowered by insight. People don't fail because they don't know nothing in an exam. They fail because they don't know enough. So he got 30%. He got something. But it's not equal to pass mark. Most of us just run around with failure marks saying we have done all we know. Now all you know has not guaranteed you success, so go and know more. The secret of sustainable empowerment is an undying quest for more and more insight in your field. There is no prayer that can empower you above insight. The prayer you need is prayer to know which material story and prayer to have grace to understand what to read and that understanding is what actually empowers you. You are potentially empowered when you are born again and that power is ignited when you are baptized in the Holy Ghost but the fire is kept alive by knowledge. This is the truth therefore. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. That statement means they are powerless and become miserable for lack of knowledge. Your majestic command in a race of life is essentially a product of your depth of insight in your field. The truth is this, investment in knowledge is the very secret of sustainable empowerment. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one. God bless you and do subscribe.